Hey guys, welcome back to Junk Food Japan. I'm Nicholas Pettis. Today, here in Shinagawa, I'm gonna take you along for this incredible dish that I know you're gonna love. It is golden. Mm. It is crispy. It is crunchy. It's tonkatsu. Now come on guys, let's go. Just like tempura, tonkatsu is actually a Japanese take on Western food that can be seen everywhere today. You can get tonkatsu served with curry, Delicious. katsu sandwiches, oh my. and even on top of some rice with an egg. But today, we're focusing on the simple and delicious cutlet itself. I've come to Agefuku in Kotanda, a shop that exclusively focuses on making the best fried dishes with the high quality cuts of meat. Fun fact, Agefuku double fries their tonkatsu with both low and high temperature oil to get the perfect crispy texture. Damn. Did you also know, that experienced tonkatsu chefs actually focus on the bubbles created by the oil to know where the dish is done. I mean, neither did I until Chef Maruyama told me. Let's see what else he's got to say. How is the process of actually making the perfect tonkatsu? えっと、とんかつ作り方はまあ、すごいシンプルで、まあ、まず豚肉に塩と胡椒で、で、粉を振って、で、卵を食らして、パン粉をつけて揚げるんですけど、まあ、その細かな工程の中にいろんなこだわ
Now, actually, we've got a whole variety here of different cuts. We've got the chicken cut, completely white meat. And then we've got this one, which is the hide. Oh, <laughs> look at that. And then for the last one, you know what? I might just try this as the first one. This is minch cut, which is pork. No, which is beef. Let's try it out. <laughs> look at this juice. Oh, yeah. oh my God. That thing just... <laughs> that just exploded in my mouth, I swear. That is juicy. That, no, oh, no, that is juicy. You know what? I want to try this one. I want to try to heat it. Oh, man. That is soft. Okay, brutal honesty here. I did not think that I was going to enjoy the heat as much as I did the roast. But this one is so juicy. It is, it is almost criminal. <laughs> you know what's really fun about this? It's like getting a whole variety pack of different kind of foods. And you can taste the different flavors and everything. And then also, <clears throat> they brought in my favorite mayonnaise. I'm gonna try that on the chicken. So get a bit of mayo in there, Japanese mayo style. Get a bit of the sauce in there mix. You can't go wrong with this. Oh yeah, you would expect it because it's the white meat and it's gonna be all dried up and everything. But the panko, which is wrapped around this beautiful piece of chicken, actually has absorbed just enough fat. I'm not sure you need the mayo on this one. Yeah, so guys, you know what? In Japan, they actually have a tradition of eating the cuts, which also means if you change the, the kanji of it uh, to win is before they go on their university application forms and like tests to get into universities. I've known uh, people who also like eat cuts before going in and uh, doing like a marathon, for example. But you know, tonkatsu, if you're actually gonna do this, try and find a place that is absolutely just as amazing in this one because it's worth it. For me, that brings back a lot of memories and I love doing it. Let me know what you think about the tonkatsu or where else I should go. Leave a comment down below. Now you got me intrigued. Ooh, it's got in there. Oh yeah, it's burning, it's burning. Ooh. Ooh, there you go. <laughs> Look at that. I hear music in the background. I see the Japanese hillsides. Imagine the strong pigs running around, bumping shoulders with each other, having a good time.